last night when I was being tortured by the neighbor. I forget exactly what I said, but I heard in response. And I didn't say it very loud, so it was one of those things where they were listening to me on amplification. And um, what I heard in response was, um, I can't, I don't know if I can imitate the voice, but it's like a hate filled meth high voice saying, Yo, yeah, well, for God to love the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. And like three people said that at once. And I was like, You know, you know how often I hear Bible verses recited in that voice, in that, that, I hate you sinner going to hell. And this guy is literally high on meth. He's torturing me in my bedroom at night, and he's reciting Bible verses. And, um, you know, so at 8.26 this morning, he start, he lights up again. And, um, you know, by that time, everything I take to uh, counteract um, has worn off. So I feel it really strong. And so I wake up to just just killer pain in my shoulder and my neck. And um, that's why, I, I, you know, the first thing I say this morning, do you really believe in that everlasting life shit? Because I do too. And... Um, like, I don't think these people are ever going to die. You know, they think they're going to die and go see Jesus and live forever. I think they're living forever right now. And, um, there's a lot of things that can happen to a person who's living forever. Um, you know, I think they're going to live forever just as they're doing right now. Like, you know, having their own apartment and, um, having some control over their life. And, uh... You know, so then he starts up this conversation with whoever else is over there with him. Though he's supposed to be the only tenant next door. Um, saying that, um, uh, you know, doing drugs is not a sin. You know, but, you know, coveting, um, what your neighbor has is a sin. And that's pretty much what you're doing when you're watching them through the wall. And torturing people in their bed, that's a sin. You know, trying to murder people, murder is a sin. You know, assaulting people for nothing. Um, you know, coveting something that somebody else has, you know, that falls under the category of trying to, um, trying to change the behavior of women and children that uh, don't have any relationship with you. And, uh, so anyway, um, yeah, he doesn't need a lecture from me about all this stuff. Because, um, you know, it, and on the last day, um, all he has to do is, is rely on the mercy of Jesus. Um, but nobody can rely on that. 